Tonight, she and her family are at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Jillian is from New Jersey. She graduated high school in June and moved here to go to Belmont. Tonight, both her hometown community and the Nashville community are praying for Jillian. Both held vigils today. Our Danielle Jackson joins us here tonight. So, Danielle, what have you seen? Tracy and Marius, all day we've seen family, friends, classmates, and community members express their concern for Jillian. Two vigils in one day, hoping to shine a positive light on her life. Let's pray together. Jillian Lewick's hometown of Wall, New Jersey, showed up in numbers, praying she pulls through. Me She's a beautiful voice, beautiful soul, just beautiful. Just pray for everything to be okay. An emotional yet hopeful gathering of Jillian's friends and family as they held candles in her honor. It's hard to believe. She's gone only six weeks in college and rising star, beautiful, beautiful young lady. Jillian, a Belmont University student, was shot in the head Tuesday afternoon while on a run at the Edge Hill Community Memorial Park. Police arrested Shaquille Taylor, who they say was seen on surveillance firing shots toward a dark sedan, according to police. One of those shots struck Jillian. He will cover you with his feathers. Tom Har with Calvary Presbyterian Church says he doesn't know Jillian personally, but understands the impact of prayer and the sense of having community. We're not just sending well wishes um, or good vibes, but that we're actually talking to a God who hears us, um, who cares about um, justice, um, who cares about wrong and suffering in this world, um, and actually works through the mechanism of prayer um, to comfort us and to bring about uh, his purposes. Earlier today, city leaders, Belmont University, and community members gathered on the campus to pray for a better outcome. Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell calling the shooting another case of senseless gun violence. This is a time of immense grief. This is a time where it is hard to feel safe. We know that it is impossible to feel safe when any of us are not safe in some way. Hearts and prayers joined together in two states praying diligently and hoping for a miracle soon. Oh, I will say of the goodness of God. In Nashville, I'm Danielle Jackson for WSMV4.